I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. The audio quality of my previous videos has probably been pretty poor, because I let my microphone get turned around and I never noticed, and I've been a little bit lazy in actually listening to the videos while encoding them for YouTube. So yeah, things... I'm not sure how audible they are. They may have effectively been garbage, but... Oh well. Live and learn. Um, I think we've actually done this quest. Not sure what else they want. Unfortunately, yeah, we just accepted a quest to... Well, anyhow. We just built him... Another generator, just because he wanted it. You Whatever. You should have all the power you need now. That's great. We really appreciate the help. Okay. Well, there we go. Not super useful. We're gonna return to the institute, and this may end up being the last video that we do. I expect to essentially wrap up the game here. It sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Uh, they weren't too bad. Okay, so it is time. Surplus power should translate to increased efficiency. Oh, they misspelled efficiency. Dr. Watson? Did you need something? Any special product? Are you referring to something in particular? Sean says it's time. Oh, well, I suppose we should. Let's go, Rosalind. Sean says it's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. I know, I know, but we need to move quickly on this. Dr. Orman has done most of the hands-on. Right. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, Yes, right? we know that. I'm aware of that. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking. But they're not idiots. They've managed to just... Mm hmm so we just won't do us any good there's uh -huh. so the immediate area around their encampment is we can relay you into a point at the edge of the airport we'll have the element exactly uh -huh. you'll have surprise on your side uh -huh. for every generator you take down and oh sure and oh you'll like this this thing and i haven't come up with wherever they land we can lock onto them and we've only got a few of these oh We'll see what you think when you're uh -huh. Your real job will be to... What's Liberty... Evan can give you the run. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Liberty Prime was a pre-war experiment. I never could get it up and running. Mm -hmm. She was one of us. To be fair, this was before she was part of the Institute. Uh -huh. Now, Dr. Lee had access to... We know what it can do. We've taken everything we know. Sure. And this part was my idea. Uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth. Kate, right. The little guy is going to be exposed and with liberty. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be. T and he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately. Oh, and don't worry. If you've got any questions, this is where you are. Have we got a? Seriously? No. This is it. Uh -huh. If you've got any questions. What have I got for back? With our reactor online, once the field is down. If you've got any questions, this mm -hmm. No questions. All right, good luck. Okay, so. But I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. Uh, well, except Dr. Lee is gone. Uh, actually, she was gone before we got the... Yeah, that bit of dialogue didn't make any sense whatsoever. Anyhow. So the elevator to head up there is back there, but we're going to see if we can pick up any more synth uh, synth grenades. I've heard stories. And the surface sure sounds. Excuse me. You are authorized to access my stock of supplies. Let's see what you got. Okay, so a whole lot of kind of interesting stuff.
Are there synths? No, apparently not. I thought that there were, uh, that you could buy synth uh, beacons. Well, shucks. Okay. Anyhow, we were given a few. I'm not scared of the surface. Um, it might not be unreasonable to be scared of the surface, though. I and know you'll achieve great things here. And up we go. Oh, uh, probably should... No, this might not be the right place. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if we have to... We might have to access this... Sorry, I, I might... I suppose I'll never be trusted again. Hey, Doc. I wasn't expecting you to let us live. That surprised me. It would be a little weird to surrender if you don't think you're going to live. X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Okay, so... Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. I'll just say bye to Father before I go. I'm so proud of all we've accomplished. And what lies ahead of us once the Brotherhood is gone. Son? I'm so proud of all oh. we've accomplished. Well. And what lies ahead of us once the Brotherhood is gone. That is a fast elevator. A little bit of a creepily fast elevator. Anyhow, up we go. Actually, I think that elevator is faster going down. There's the boardroom. And yeah, there really probably should be stuff in the upper areas of this gigantic room. And we're getting near the relay, I think. So much lighting in this area. Well, the downside is that if you side with the Institute, you never get to see what's behind the store, the old robotics lab. You only actually get to see that if you side, I think, with the Brotherhood. And here we go. We relay out of the Institute and towards the beginning of this quest. Oh, and here we see, earlier on, we wiped out a Brotherhood foe. And they had to eject their, their core out of their armor and leave it. And that's the result. So let's start the fun now. And we're going to back off. Uh-oh. And already, apparently, some of them are, are stationed nearby. Okay, so... have shitty aim. I wonder if I can blow up that car or if it's already... Nope. So Star Paladins, they actually have some pretty decent health. So you're not going to get them down super easily. Okay, and just one more hit, I think, and you'll be out. 
Well, if I can actually manage to score that hit, there we go. See if we can get some interesting damage on that thing. Well, we've hurt its tail at least a bit. And it doesn't have a, a firm, uh... How's it feel getting your arse kicked by a girl? Doesn't have a firm bearing on us yet. Okay, so... It's out there. We can come down and see the results of our handiwork. Okay. And our vertebrate friend is coming closer again. Okay, who's first? It's almost out. Yeah, it's definitely having a bad day. Oop, are you gonna... Yes, you are. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so we're, we're, we want to keep moving. Keep tiptoeing closer. Okay, and there. Always nice when you can have it be that simple. And this is a pretty decent place to hide. Ooh, a Gauss uh, laser. Okay, that's another one down. Okay some point I think Kate is probably going to be knocked down let's give more sense out there. And unfortunately they just don't last very long. We're taking a little bit of damage here, so let's back off a bit. Let's see. Okay, that's another source of missiles gone. They're gonna just keep tossing. Let's see if we can again. You basically just want to reduce the source of number of sources of damage pretty quickly. Okay, I shot his helmet off. Okay, that's another one down. We've taken some pretty decent damage again. 
Again, spending a good amount of time on getting your perks right, pretty important. Uh, that's not going to be that great. Let's scoot back out over here. Scribes. Yeah, they really shouldn't be sending scribes after me. Even senior scribes. An, even an aspirant. Ah. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Let's go back over here. Ooh, okay. Maybe not over there. Easy way to get inside of people with with missile launchers. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Okay, let's see. Don't get in my way, Kate. Okay, can I get a shot into the fusion core? Let's see. Yes, I can. And I wonder if that's enough to take it out. Let's see. Yes, it is. Excellent. There's an another person with one of those uh, Gatling lasers. Fortunately, somebody who now is very poorly armed. Ouch. Kate, do not get in the way. Yeah, look, Kate, if, if you're going to be fighting... And you're using... Uh, anyhow, it's an AI. It's not going to care. not going to listen to me, so I should stop pretending it will. Let's see if we can... Okay, there's another go. Getting somebody out of their power armor. Nice try. Okay, yep. You're going to need to get out of that thing real quick. And then... Come on, you stupid uh, Let's see if we can take you out. Yes. Okay. Awesome. If we can just get you to turn around. Then I will take a shot at your... Oh, maybe not. Let's just... Oh, and we gained a level. Great. So what do we want to do next, level-wise? We might actually start... Hmm... Maybe we'll start building up perception. I'm beginning to enjoy this. Okay, one more shot, and there we go. Well, that may have been it, at least for now. They tried mining this area, but it's not super effective.
And just like before, we're going to end up being massively overburdened here. But that is okay. Oh, two of them. Well, how about we give you guys a fun little gift? Okay, that was kind of interesting. Oh, oh, oh. The health is getting dangerously low. Ah, that was kind of ridiculous. Unfortunately for these guys, at this range, my sniper weapons actually are quite effective. Uh, but I have to be careful because their weapons are also much more effective. Ah. Not good. And I'm a little bit pinned down by... Okay, survived it, but... It's definitely being hampered a little bit by having little in the way of energy left. Interesting. Keep creeping forward. Grabbing all the good stuff. Okay. And we need to... Let's find another, a new approach now. figures that one of my settlements just would happen to be under attack right now. Well, let's see what we can do. We will get out there, but we're going to have to... Everything we want. We might actually slip out to take care of that settlement real quick.
Come on. It's annoying when those keys stop working. Come on, enter transfer mode. Another one? Son of a... Such bullshit. Okay, so we're gonna actually head off and drop some of this stuff off somewhere else and deal with our settlements that for some stupid reason are being attacked just when we're trying to do a long and difficult quest. Okay, are we far enough away? Yeah, apparently we are. Ah, that is so incredibly annoying. out pretty well in a spot like this really and country crossing apparently finished up and suffered damage hey again step right up a little bit of everything let's see what you got everything is sold okay so da, 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 da. oh don't mean to sell that See if that might do it. But, uh, we'll buy all, buy all the shipments. And try and sell all of the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. Good enough. Okay, that takes us back under the weight limit. And we're gonna head back to Red Rocket and deal with the attack there. Really, really annoying that Country Crossing somehow it started and finished before we could even make it out there. I don't really understand how that happened. Taffington Boathouse now? Really? go and deal with Taffington Boathouse. I don't think the settlement has ever been attacked before. Is there 
anything else? No. Okay. And let's just swing by Virgil and just say hi to him. And then we'll head back. In here. Or, th or and then we'll head back to the airport to finish up. Okay. Virtual, you look human. Back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is a qualified. There were some side effects to the process. Sure. Still, I take your point. It will take you. Still, you're welcome to make use of my lab. Or okay, so we do have the ability to use this lab now. Not a whole lot that we need to do there, so. We just wanted to stop by and say hi. Now let's head back to the airport and deal with stuff. And hope that settlements don't keep on. Okay. Well, up we go. And wow, they're actually doing some pretty good damage. How am I... And yes, I am wearing uh, my normal set of gear. Okay. There's another one. And there is another one. But he's a scribe. Or she is a scribe. I, I can't tell. It doesn't really matter. These guys are just endless. Oh, and there's a star paladin who has a star on. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to need to go up and give them some serious fun. Take that. And now take that. if you guys like some grenade. So this is actually an enjoyably difficult uh, battle. Okay, and now we are actually getting some backup, which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's one interference device knocked out. Oh, and we've exhausted our uh, our grenade. Wow, this guy is incredibly well armored. Let's see if, if that does the job. Okay. And now we have another. Good to have a good shotgun. And down he goes. Okay, and now we just need to head upstairs. 
and deal with the final generator, and that'll get us... That gets rid of the third uh, inhibitor. And so we are ready to head down and reach Liberty Prime and get that thing destroyed. And so this means we're finally at the point where we're wrapping up the game. And we're getting some coursers in. deal with this guy. Okay, and we were we're gonna drop off some beacons. Ooh, we're almost dead. There it is. Hostile software Nice armor that that critter has. safe location. Okay, and we will pop out. And that was pretty much the main quest line, at least if you side with the Institute, for Fallout 4. And we can see that the Pridwin is destroyed. So 
if you're interested, you can return and see the aftermath. But we are asked to return to Father. And we're going to do that. We find that Father is inside of a weird medical bed thing. Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now. Yes. But... There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute and to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Some other treatment that could help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided it wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. Our time together has been strange, hasn't it? I spent suppose years we all eventually reach life. that point if we, we uh, depending on how we die. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Mother, you've helped the boy achieve his dreams, I think. I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted. But it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. It would be a world that would need a whole lot of work. Together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheap time, make us whole again, the way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. The road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. I know war. War never changes. And that's... that's it. I think one of the big differences that you would imagine between the world before the war and the world after the war is the dramatic change in human effectiveness and how much effort or what happens to the work after people put in their effort uh, how over the course of somebody's life how much do they get done really how much do they have the ability to explore what kind of what is the output of their labor and before the war you end up having an educational system, you end up having highly advanced jobs, you end up having security, and it makes sense to invest a whole lot in, into peop uh, in people. And after the war, not so much, because life is so much more uncertain. 
And so people would tend to chase the short-term advantage over the long. But eventually you can imagine things changing, uh, the needle moving back in the other direction, or it would make sense to spend quite a lot of effort investing in the welfare and the education and all these things for everybody but certainly not at this point in time given how cheap life is in modern in the modern real world society every murder is, is a much larger tragedy and our expected lifespan is quite long and so we treat it very seriously in this world uh, in the world of the game and in any world where you imagine civilization stepping back so far life becomes considerably cheaper anyhow this has been my let's play for Fallout 4 I probably won't be doing any more in this series so so long and perhaps I'll do another let's play of some other uh, game if you're interested in that, or if you want to have a philosophical video chatting about some topics or anything of that sort, let me know in the comments, and I will attempt to actually set up my mic correctly in the future so that people can hear uh, what I'm saying, because I think I've recorded a whole lot of dialogue in this series that very few people will be able to hear. And that's a bit of a bummer. I realize that this series probably, it, it's not going to have a whole lot of views. But I was hoping at least for the views to have some interesting ideas, and now I'm realizing that most of them won't be audible. Oh well. Bye-bye.